Hi. Welcome to Fem Afrik Mass. Um, it's a social media campaign we are starting to promote females in mass across Africa, and you're welcome to be um to be our first guest. And <laughs> <laughs> thank you, I'm honoured. Okay, so I want you to give a brief introduction of yourself and your career in mass so far. Okay, so uh, my name is Diapria Yabina, and um, I started my journey in mathematics um, back at home in Nigeria, where I studied maths and computer science for my undergrad. And after then, or during that period actually, I think I developed a flair for mathematical modeling and I knew I wanted to go in line with that field. And then I moved on to do my masters in the same field, maths and computer science in, at the University of Leeds. And um, I went for a conference during that time. Um, it was a conference that was basically to inspire young mathematicians in different fields, pure maths, statistics, and applied maths you know to pursue a career in research and there were some really stimulating talks in maths bio and that's where i picked my interest and i did my thesis on something related to um, epidemiology but not really more in the lines of ecology and eventually i decided to go for my phd at imperial college where i worked with um, dr caroline colline and um, on um, modeling tb basically and i just concluded my PhD and I mean that transition phase from PhD to postdoc life and currently I'm working on um, uh, modeling heterogeneity in the um, transmission of tuberculosis and we'll be focusing on um, a middle in income country um, Vietnam and also a low income country Nepal we want to see how we can um, propose um, the best strategies to implement active case finding which in the long run is to reduce the incidence of tuberculosis in these countries, basically. Okay. Okay. Thanks so much. Um, one other question, um, we study a lot of maths um, mm -hmm. right from primary to secondary before people choose to specialize in it. Um, what key mathematic tools do you use that you probably learned some years back or learned recently? I think um, one of the uh, areas of maths which I use literally every day was um, is I use a lot of stats because mm -hmm. um, I do some data analysis and I use um, OD mm -hmm. models and so I think I learned that in my second year <laughs> in undergrad or yeah. something like that OD and but you also use I should have interrupted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sorry. No, I, I wanted to add calculus, which we learned yeah, in yeah, high school. Yeah, yes, that's yeah, what I wanted yeah, to add in, as, in high school. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is really, really mm -hmm. good. and generally problem solving skills. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't necessarily have to think or use high level math. Sometimes it's just mm -hmm. common sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they say like you know, and it's. I think problem solving generally, mm -hmm. if you have a flair for problem solving, it's something, it's a field where you would do well in. Yeah. Okay. So I think calculus and, mm -hmm. and even back in primary school um, in Nigeria, we do something we call quantitative and verbal reasoning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those helps, those subjects help build your crea creative mind, yes. basically. So things like that would help okay. or has helped me. So all the maths we studied is not completely useless, it's very yeah, useful as you go ahead. It's very useful, very, very useful. Um, if you had a chance to change anything in the way maths is taught in Nigeria, your home country, what would it be? I think basically one of the things I would want to have implemented is, um, you know, changing the opinion that once you do maths, all you can ever do is end up with a white chalk or a marker <laughs> you know um that in fact i was actually told that by so many people like oh you're gonna end up with a chalk or a marker which i don't think there's anything wrong if that's what you want to do but one thing i would like to implement is to broaden people's minds to where maths can be applied in so many areas initially i wanted to study medicine and then i discovered i didn't like the sight of blood <laughs> so i had to like you know stop that and do something else which i had a flair for which was maths and then now what i work i work on um, epidemiology infectious disease i'm not a doctor medical doctor per se but i work with medical doctors i'm still 
using maths in something that you really love is something I'm passionate about uh, public health generally mm -hmm. so maths can be used in literally almost any field and if I would have my way in, when it comes to implementing these things um, of improving the standard of education of mathematics in Nigeria that would be one thing I would want to do to you know make people become more aware of how maths can be used what you can do as a mathematician and to know that there is high demand mm -hmm. For, for, for us as mathematicians Sorry. basically and um, that the world is evolving so much that things are becoming more interdisciplinary and it's not just um, like maths is not just one boring thing that it's really interesting because it intermingles with other fields and things like that yeah um, so so we are not we are a network of female mathematicians from yeah. Africa um, why should you expect you five to ten years from now on the forefront of mass in Africa? Well, I really wanted to go into lecturing actually. So, and now I'm really being dragged into research. <laughs> so sometimes I ask myself, well, how do you balance this? Do you really want to do research? Do you want to go into lecturing? But I think um, I would always want to give back to my country. I would always want to give back to where I come from. So, four, five, ten years from now, I see myself rising in the realms of research and also being able to. I, I can't really picture it now how it's going to be like. Um, I, I won't say I will be a lecturer mm -hmm. in this university. I'm going to make use of all the opportunities that come my way. But there's one thing that is really there in my heart, wanting to give back mm -hmm. to you know to improve what it is we have back at home, and. Um, Probably a visiting lecture, who mm -hmm. knows, or maybe a lecture, mm -hmm. who knows, or maybe conducting research with the things I do or with mm -hmm. the skills I have developed or would have developed by that time in my country and things like that, basically. Thank you so much for honoring our invitation. Thanks for having me. <laughs>